Hey, what's up, guys? You know, I'm meet you with for life as always. Um, this is gonna be one of those videos where you get to see me do um, uh, this white oak here that was right on the edge of the, of the um, house right here, as you can see. And definitely, you know, these trees like this, as I mentioned in that previous comment, that these are always the interesting ones that you'll do as a as a tree guy or tree gal. Um, these type of removals when you can't use a crane, a bucket truck, or or even a lift or anything of that nature, or when there's just, just not the option, um, even though a lot of guys have access to equipment like that. But the idea is that a lot of homeowners don't want to pay the cost. They'd rather actually have somebody come in like I did here and climb this for the company that I'm working for. Here's the idea. Trees like this, you see the power lines there to the right. You see the brick patio, the unit. There's really no option to drop hardly anything unless it's something small like this, which you see me about to cut. And that's another reason why I do double up on my lanyards. If you've seen, I put the lanyard on before. Um, you see how they doubled up there. I can go ahead and start cutting right away and feel safe about cutting, even though I'm just using my hand saw. But then, too, even help if, say, I did slip and fall, two lanyards gripping as opposed to just the one. And that's why I prefer the rope lanyards, too. But... The idea here is that this is a, a very advanced um, tree job and will require somebody with some kind of skill definitely to be able to um, take a tree like this out because the limb, if you look at the black pipe on the house, you'll see one um, part of this video where you'll see that when I cut the one limb, it reached almost all the way over there, a little bit past that black pipe. So that's over at almost half the, how did this, this uh, excuse me half the distance of the house so you can definitely see there that this tree was not nothing to play with as, as uh, you know I've taken down a few trees um, like this in my time and this tree in particular wasn't the, the biggest because I had one tree to where it seemed like where I'm at now the limbs was just that big going out across the roof almost all the way to the back side I was um, doing a tree like that and um, so you have so many different scenarios and situations but you have to take these slow plant them out you know the best you can and I couldn't really drop them too much of anything on this side because of the two lines there and um, I tried to get the homeowner to drop the one but he wouldn't um, or he wasn't able to because of how they had it set up I almost rigged it up the way they did, the same way they did the power line you would have thought that they would have buried that but you know everybody's different so that just poses more obstacles you see the building back there behind me and you definitely see the lean on this tree, so you're not working straight up like you normally would be. So this is one that you really, 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 again, just have to really take your time and plan it out. Um, at any rate, the unnecessary limbs, you take off the little small stuff. This one, that one, you know, stuff that you can. So you kick that on up out of there. And that way you can see what you're really working with. And you, you'll do that the way it, it, as you work your way up. And in this situation too, even though I I don't really set my climbing line up um, just officially until probably about the, the when I get a little bit higher in the in the, in the canopy um, of this tree, it's just one of them deals. It's just you know as I'm going up, I'm saying, well, what can I do as I um, make my way up to the top? And there's always going to be some things you can do, whether it's light rigging or whatever. But I didn't use a lot of equipment here. Um, you just see I got my three, my main common line, my two lanyards. So my three, that's what I just consider my three ropes there as far as climbing part. Then I have used, or and I will use in this video, I will use two um, rigging um, lines. Um, one for a tag line and then also one for a, um, just to, to, to lower with. And in this video, that's why I love working with oak too. Oak is just so strong. Um, it's just amazing how it will hold up. Um, Onto, I mean, a little strip of wood can hold the whole piece up, but I like using natural crotch rigging. That's why I get the rope that I get. I like the three strand. I don't take, you know, I guess I do take big pieces, but, you know, within reason that I know the rope will withstand the constant abuse because I like to take care of my stuff. I, I, I don't like to bomb huge pieces, and you'll see me do the rip cut a lot or, or, or I call it or the tear cut. You know, just to basically cut it and don't put a notch in it. I use that a lot of the time. And then because that kind of, again, it kind of slows the, the limb down just a little bit before it breaks off. So it doesn't just jerk your rope and just snatch it up so so bad. But you got to be careful with that too. I mean, but everybody's different. You'll learn as you go 
how you'll do these things or what kind of equipment you'll use. But again, this very basic equipment here, porter wrap on the tree and carabiners, you know, hardly any knots, um, if any, um, except what's tied to the carabiners. Um, so it's just one of those situations here. But I don't want to talk you guys half to death. I'm going to let you guys watch this and watch this video. Um, there are probably one or two more um, videos in this series that you can watch. Um, I didn't take this tree all the way down. I just took it to the uh, probably a little lower than where I'm at right now. Um, almost down to the Y um, where all these branches start coming off. Probably yeah, about, about right where my foot is. Let me say yeah. So that way we can throw it over in the side of the yard. And, and, and the guy down below Stokes Tree Zach, he did that. Um, he's worked with me um, or I work with him a lot. And on some of these videos, so this is who I'm working for on this particular job. So you get to see that um, basically how we get this thing down. And um, again, it's very interesting. These are the ones because any little mistake is always going to be costly because of the proximity of where this tree is at. And so you again, you got to constantly um, just always be thinking. Oh yeah, and one other piece of the um, equipment I'm using is just a spire leg device. I forgot to keep those to level the limbs and you'll see how it works and it doesn't always work when you use it because sometimes how some limbs are um, it doesn't work right away but whenever the limb basically you cut it all the way off that's when you see how the spire leg really works you know if you don't have a GCRS device that can crank the limb up or, or if you don't have enough uh, a pulley device or something that can crank the limb up and you can see here this oak limb is all in the way too so you're working around other trees too. You're trying to do as less damage to them too as you do a tree like this because if you do damage to that tree, more than likely you have to go climb it too and, or take that limb out. But I think um, the guy is going to eventually get that limb out too. But they was just really concerned about this particular tree because, of course, the bedroom will be right there up underneath it. So, I mean, they have tons of trees. And, and I, if, if I would ever stand still enough, if, if I get up in a tree, just look at the oak tree. It's, it's not this not this first oak where this limb is hanging out like toward the back of the deck where the grill's sitting. But look straight out and a little bit further than that. I'm telling you guys, if you had to do a tree like that, it's like, I'll just say a million trees in one. All those limbs are trees. It's probably about 15 to 20 liters popping out. It's like somebody just topped it years ago and it just water sprouts just shot up. And then now they're bigger. They're almost as big as this tree I'm climbing in. Some of the, the, the bases of them, it seems like. Um, it's a, it's just a really huge oak tree. Um, I want to say it's a red oak, but I could be wrong. I can't. I didn't really go over there and walk over there and look at it, but it's a humongous oak tree, and that's one of the trees again that tests you, you know. And it's going straight up for the most part, but it's just like it's not like taking one tree down. So how do you price that? You say, well, it's one tree, but really like twenty. So it's like okay, you have to factor that in and then hauling all that mess off or chipping it or logging it, whatever you do, it'll be a beast. So. At any rate, um, thanks as always, guys, for watching my channel and, and staying um, committed to helping me and just, you know, with the views and the, and the likes and the comments. Even sometimes when I'm not able to get up, you know, and, and, and answer right away or if I go on a little hiatus because of family life and things like that. But I, I really appreciate it, and I'm going to try to keep the videos coming. I still have tons and tons and tons of footage, a lot of old footage from last year I still haven't posted. And I'm just trying to keep it, you know, just a little mix up. You know, I had the pine tree um, series that went on, seemed like forever. But you can just see, I mean, it's just, it's good watching, you know, but at the same time, I just didn't want to overwhelm you guys. And, you know, I don't do a whole lot of editing, but the little I did and I do, I just try to make it interesting and, you know, keep your attention a little bit, you know. Because tree work, I mean, it's, it's fun as it is, you know, to, to those who don't do it. But when you do it, it's just like, okay, I've done that, seen that before, you know. It's a little different when you actually do tree work, so it's it's harder to watch the finality or the or the or everything about it because it's just it's just tree work. You're climbing up the tree, you're setting up, you're rigging it down, and you're throwing it or whatever, and then cleaning it up, and then you go home. So there you have it. So again, guys, thanks so much, and and I appreciate you for all you do for my channel, and you guys take care, and I hope you enjoy this video.
ready to go. I'm brainstorming. It's all good. Yeah, CO2, the carbonation. That don't bother me. As long as there ain't no dirt, nothing crazy.
some parts. Reversing this limb, my friend. line so basically when this lowers you use that to pull that over that's all that is that ain't that don't serve no function the main rope we need that you're gonna hold with is gonna be this one right here that I'm setting up now that's just the tag line White rope tight. Let's see what we got. Okay, that's perfect. For now. Basically, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna cut the back side of this, and it's slowly gonna start. The weight of it is gonna tip out, and it's gonna go. Th I'm hoping it's gonna go that way. Okay. You just gotta hold it because it, it has to stay above the house. If it hit that line, that's fine. We got the tag line. We can pull it out. I mean, if it hit that limb, I mean.
Alrighty then. Okay, guys, you ready? Now remember, just hold what you got. Don't let it drop, us if you can. All right. on that roof. Got to go back further. Walk back. Walk back with it. And there you go. Give him just a little slack, Victor. A little slack. Y'all got to work together. You might can go back there and help him, Victor. Okay. This next one is going to be a whole nother monster. Next time, this limb you'll probably have to put in the device, okay? Yeah, because this one's going to be a whole lot bigger.
Okay, watch it. Your tagline this time. I want you out there between those two big trees. That that rope you was pulling on. Yeah. Run it up underneath that rope that you're pulling with. And then set your set your rope up in the device. Put it in and one wrap should be fine. But you're gonna have to pull it tight though. Around the back side of the tree, Victor. Go around the back side. There you go. And that way you can be watching me over here so you can back your rope out this way. Okay, you pull. Oh, yeah. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Pull it tight though, tight as y'all can. Go ahead, yeah, put two people on it. Put two people on, cause this going this one gonna slide on the roof a little bit. Pull up, um, Zach. Pull up. Pull down, Victor. There you go. Get up higher and pull down. Take as much of that slack out of there as you can. Okay, perfect. Now wrap it around one time. That's all we need, just one. Okay. You might need some help pulling, cause here's here's. I think Zach has that part. Oh yeah, or whoever, and and whoever. Until we can get it stabilized, Wink, just hold it. I mean, you probably won't feel nothing now that you got that friction on it. The reason I want you to hold it because it has to swing over. So I want y'all to pull y'all, y'all, as I cut, because I'm, I'm going to do like a rip cut. I'm not going to put a notch in. I'm going to have y'all pull that part around because it's going to still come back. And I'll, it might even hit me a little bit, but I'm going to have to kind of finagle it so it don't kill me, you know. Okay. Yes, sir. I'm fine. If y'all, all you gotta do is just hold. It should just go right across the top of it. That's what my game. I mean, should. If it don't, we'll we'll have to get over there and pull it up some more. We'll see as it drops. That's why I'm gonna cut it real slow. But yeah, just hold what y'all got. Let me let me get myself tied in again and moved out the way. We'll get it right. Yeah, it's just too much stuff. I can't, at this angle, it's hard to hold anything. All right, we already got it rigged up now. Plus, it still had to cut the wood and everything. It's going to have to be rigged down either way. Okay, fellas. Here we go. Slowly lay it down, Wink. Slowly lay it down. You 
and let some slack in it. You might have to walk up to that device. Oh, yeah, there we go. There we go. That was a great job. Next time, don't wrap it around that tree, Vic. Try to... You might have to try to... There we go. You're helping pull, yeah. Woo! Boy, boy, boy. That's probably, hopefully, the worst one we have to do today, but we'll see. Yep. Yeah. You hadn't seen that before, huh? It's amazing. They call that spider leg, though. It, actually, it probably would have worked better if I would have cut it faster. But I had to, but, but I had to let it rip so I can see how far down, because I thought we had to pull it up. But it worked out. It actually, so I'm kind of the same way. It worked better than I thought so too. Yep. That again, sir? Yeah. The main thing is just making sure we clear the roof before we lower it. Okay, Vic, pull this rope. Go ahead and set it up on the device again. No, that's your tagline. Pull the pull the pull rope, the, the main rope. Y'all get as tight as you can. You should have this by yourself. Yeah. 